Hello coders. In this video we are going to discuss subplots. So when to use subplot. If you want draw multiple plots in one figure. To compare different views of data side by side. And we want to generate a plot that contains several smaller plots within it. That is exactly what a subplot is. So let's get started. So to discuss subplots using matplotlib. We are going to use hello world dataset for machine learning. Iris flower dataset. As you can see it contains four features. Sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, in centimeters, and, one target variable species. So we are going to draw subplots for, iris flower dataset features, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width and one figure, that you can see over here. So let's get started. So let's jump to Jupyter Notebook. So, we are going to plot a subplot in two ways, using matplotlib. First, using subplot method and second using subplots method of matplotlib and at the end of this video you can use anyone with which you are comfortable to discuss subplot here i have mentioned some questions that you can see over here so let's solve them one by one so let me first import matplotlib.pyplot splt and we are going to use iris dataset so let me import pandas as pd let me execute this cell as you can see over here our required libraries are successfully imported so now let's load our data set so data is equal to pd dot read underscore csv and we are going to use iris data set iris dot csv you can download this data set from my github account or from kegel link is given in the description of this video so let me execute this cell as you can see over here, our data set is successfully imported that you can see over here. Let me print first five rows of this data set as you can see over here. ID, sepal length in centimeter, sepal width in centimeter, petal length in centimeter, petal width in centimeter and species. So now first we are going to use subplot method of matplotlib and then after we will use subplots method of matplotlib. So now our first question in this question we have to draw two plots side by side to explain you subplot i am going to use histogram in place of histogram you can use any other plots as per your requirement so let me first display column names so let me write plt dot subplot method of matplotlib so let's check doc string of this subplot method i am going to press shift tab as you can see over here subplot method this subplot can take four arguments n rows n calls index and keyword arguments so we are going to use these three arguments that describes the layout of the figure so the layout is organized in rows and columns which represented by this n rows and n calls parameter of this subplot method and this third argument index so this third argument represents the index of the current plot let me show you this so as per our question we have to draw two plots side by side means here is one figure in this we have to draw these two plots side by side like this so as you can see over here to do this we require one row and two columns and this plot at index one and this plot at index two so let's pass n rows n calls an index argument in this subplot method so here we have to pass one which is number of rows number of columns and this plot is at index one means this figure has one row two columns and this is the first plot like this one row two columns and this is our first plot let me execute this cell as you can see over here so let me copy this statement and let me paste it over here let me change it to two so this figure has one row two columns and this is the second plot let me execute this cell as you can see over here so this way we can draw two plots side by side that you can see over here but as per our question we have to draw histogram of sepal length and petal length so plt dot hist and data which is pointing to our data set here dot sepal length so let me copy this column name and let me paste it over here data dot sepal length and let me copy this statement and let me paste it over here and let me copy this petal length let me paste it over here let me execute this cell so as you can see over here so this way we can draw 
two plots side by side to remove this extra statements here we can write plt dot show let me execute this cell as you can see over here so now let's decorate this plot so now let's give super title so for that we have to use plt dot soup title let me write iris data set let me execute this cell as you can see over here so this way we can set super title so now let's set title for this particular plot so plt dot title let me copy this and let me paste it over here so plt dot title let's give title to this second plot let me copy this let me paste it over here let me execute this cell as you can see over here so this way we can give super title and title to particular plot that you can see over here also we can change color so let me write color is equal to green let me execute this cell as you can see over here also we can set x label and y label to this plots so now let's set it for first plot so plt dot x label let me copy this and let me paste it over here and plt dot y label let me give count let me copy this statement and let me paste it over here for second plot and let me copy this petal length and let me paste it over here let me execute this cell as you can see over here but as you can see over here some overlapping to remove this we have to use plt dot tight layout method of matplotlib so please remember this tight underscore layout method of matplotlib adjust the padding between and around subplots let me execute this cell as you can see over here now it's look better so this way we can draw two plots side by side so we have used histogram just for the teaching learning purpose but as per your requirement you can draw different plots over here so now our next question so in this question we have to draw two plots top of each other if we want to draw two plots top of each other then we have to draw the figure with two rows and one column let me show you this we want to draw two plots top of each other so this is our figure and this is our first plot and this is our second plot means we require two rows and one column so now let's do this to save our recording time let me copy this code and let me paste it over here so here in place of one we have to pass two because we require two rows and one column and this is our first plot two rows one column and this is our second plot let me execute this cell as you can see over here this way we can draw two plots top of each other that you can see over here two rows and one column this is our first plot two rows one column this is our second plot that you can see over here so now our next question in this question we have to draw four plots we can draw as many plots we like on one figure just describe the number of rows columns and the index of the plot so in this question we have to draw four plots in one figure then we have to draw the figure with two rows and two columns like this so this is our figure and this is our first plot this is our second plot this is our third plot and this is our fourth plot so we require two rows and two columns so let me show you this so let me first display column names so we are going to draw histogram for sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width in one figure to save our recording time let me copy this code and let me paste it over here so subplot with two rows and two columns this is our first plot two rows two columns this is our second plot let me copy this code and let me paste two times so two rows two columns and this is our third plot two rows two columns this is our fourth plot so let me replace this petal length with sepal width so let me copy this code and let me paste it over here in title in this x label and also over here and let me replace 
this last one with this petal width so let me copy this column name and let me paste it over here in this title method and in this hist method and in this x label method let me execute this cell as you can see over here so let me change color of the plots so color is equal to red as per your requirement you can set different colors let me execute this cell as you can see over here so this way we can draw four plots in one figure that you can see over here with two rows and two columns that you can see over here so now our next question so in this question we have to change figure size and figure color so let me copy this code and let me paste it over here let me execute this cell as you can see over here so now let's change figure size so plt dot figure and fix size let me give 10 comma 6 let me execute this cell as you can see over here so this way we can change figure size let's change age color is equal to black and let me set line width parameter to 3 let me execute this cell so as you can see over here here it is not displaying so let me change line weight to 4 let me execute this cell as you can see over here so this way we can change age color let me set face color to light green let me execute this cell as you can see over here so this way we can change figure size age color and face color of the figure that you can see over here so in the next video we are going to discuss another method of matplotlib subplots so please don't forget to subscribe this channel if you like this video smash that like button thank you very much for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next video